Hey everyone, it's Wednesday, April 24th. We had our cleaning checks this morning and Jed moved out. He'll be ditching us too. But the good news is, Marin and Alexis are moving in, which I'm very excited about. All things considered, I've been pretty lucky when it comes to roommates over the years. I mean, everyone that was in our freshman group has stayed friends to this day, and that was like five years ago. Ugh, that was five years ago to be roommates for four and a half years and we still see each other at least once a week. I like to think that in general I'm a relatively easy person to live with but there are a few things that might be helpful to know if you're going to be living with me. First thing you got to know is I have insane standards about kitchen cleanliness. Like I tell people that I'm really picky when it comes to the kitchen being clean and I get a lot of people going, oh yeah me too I hate having a messy kitchen I'm really really clean when it comes to the kitchen. No you're not. Not enough. The only person I've ever met who's as crazy as I am about the kitchen is my mother. So you're pretty much doomed to fail in that category. Sorry. Being left on the stove. I do not like people not wiping off the stove, counter, and table. I do not like dishes. Any dishes being put in the sink. Like, ever. If it needs to soak, it can soak for like 10 minutes, any longer than that, and you're just using it needs to soak as an excuse to not do it right now. And if I see your dishes in the sink, I am angry with you. I'll get over it really quickly, but in that moment, when I see them in there, we are not friends. I do not like pots, pans, or big mixing bowls being put in the dishwasher. It ruins the nonstick surface on the pots and pans, and it's just a waste of space. Just wash it yourself and put it away. So just so you know, my kitchen standards are impossibly high, but I recognize this. So when you're messier than I'd like you to be, and you will be, I'm never upset about it for longer than like five seconds. But if you do make an effort to keep the kitchen spotless, we are gonna get along famously. You should also know that no matter how good you are at putting stuff into the dishwasher, I'm gonna rearrange it. It's not you. It's me. It's just my little neurotic thing and you just kind of have to ignore me and let me go on my way. Next thing you should probably know if you're gonna live with me is that I'm an airwaves hog. Always playing music or playing the guitar or singing or whatever. Usually just playing music. And I know this, but unless you tell me otherwise, I'm gonna assume it's not bothering you. So if you need me to shut up or to turn it down or to plug in my headphones, Please tell me. I will not be offended. I would be much happier knowing that you're not afraid to tell me if it's bothering you because then I'm not feeling anxious about bothering you all the time. Next, fair warning. I'm a morning person. I hate getting out of bed, but like the minute my feet hit the floor, I am up and I am perky and I'm happy to see everyone. There's nothing you can do about it. Just ask Kate. She's not a morning person, and for the last four and a half years, one of my favorite things to do was when she got up, I'd go, Good morning, Starshine! And she'd always grunt and scowl at me in response. I do try my best to be quiet if I'm up before other people because I don't want to wake them up. Annoy you? Watch out. Um, sometimes I talk in my sleep. I just humbly ask that you don't use it against me in conversations with other people. I have this habit of making food and then forcing you to eat it. Usually people don't have a problem with that. But yeah, that's pretty much it, I think. I was super lucky this semester to land with the roommates that I did. I mean, Megan, Jen, and Alana have been fantastic. And I've loved living with them. And no, Kate, they don't quite have you beat. Gonna miss the old roommates? Looking forward to the new ones? But for now, I'm mostly just enjoying our extremely clean apartment. See you tomorrow.